Hello, everybody, and welcome. Now, let's take a moment first to acknowledge where I am. Uh, it would be good to see. Such a stunning place, right? I'm so grateful and lucky to be able to travel this much to be able to afford this lifestyle and to be able to be in beautiful places whenever i feel like it now today i wanted to talk to you about something very important number one i'm launching a new challenge on my facebook group on the 6th of december i'm going to spend five days going deeper into how i started my business tools techniques and templates in order to be able to start your own business even in these challenging times i'm going to share with you everything that i have done in order to live the life that i live today as you can see i'm literally always in a different country even during covid i have been able to maintain my profits and my lifestyle and i'm going to share all of this with you so make sure to sign up you can click the link in my bio or in my description box um but what i'm going to talk about today is something very important and that is how to deal with disappointments and setbacks in business so as an entrepreneur, honestly, I have seen millions of thousands of difficult moments and setbacks. Um, I've been faced with a lot of challenges and I've come to realize over time that there is an actual way to deal with this. Uh, a lot of people would see challenges as a sign that things aren't working out or that they should maybe try something else, etc., etc. But I actually believe it's not like that. I actually believe that when you're challenged, um, it's time to regroup and you need to just apply some self-care, do a couple of things in order to get back into a positive vibration and then go back on your path and pursue your dreams again. So I've recently been faced with an immense challenge, um, both in my business and in my personal life, some great disappointments I went through in the last couple of weeks. I realize sometimes that it's better to take your attention off what it is that you're trying to manifest when things aren't working out the way that you, that you want. So that would be my first tip. Whenever something doesn't work out or when, you know, my business doesn't thrive the way I want or when things don't fill up or where, when I, when I simply just feel out of manifestation powers, I tend to take my full attention off what's happening and I go and do something completely different for a couple of days. This, this time it means that I booked myself a place in nature and I'm just doing like a detox and get, getting some massages. But it could also mean that you just go to the beach or that you, you know, just do something else. Go out with friends, do something different. Stop focusing on the problem because clearly whatever you're trying to do to solve it, it's not helping or working right now. So that's one. Number two, I really make an effort in times of disappointment to focus on what I'm grateful for. So I look at the things in my life that are still going really well, like my friendships, my bank account, like the things that really like give me, you know, good feelings of stability and security and gratitude. So I look at those things and I focus on them and I say thanks for them. I switch into the vibe of gratitude um, because the frustration is obviously not helping me or you to get anywhere so gratitude is another one and then one thing i really love to do is to give my problems up to the universe so i learned this from abraham hicks it's basically a process where you say okay i am too small to be able to solve all of this so i'm just going to give it over to my higher power and let them deal with it. Let it deal with it or let God deal with it or the universe or higher power or whatever you believe in. Um, so that you yourself just take, you know, it's not like we don't take responsibility for what's happening, but it's more like, you know what, I am too small to see the big picture at this time. So I need to surrender and I need to just give it up and see what happens you know see how it can get solved without my interference so that's another one that i tend to apply i always believe that shifting on, into the energy of abundance and doing something really nice for yourself is one of the key ways to get out of problems or get out of frustration and disappointment so that's what i tend to do i always book myself a trip or i go for a massage and like i said if you don't have the financial means to do that you can also just go to a public beach and enjoy a day of relaxation it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. That's not my point here. Um, 
but it's more about that level of self-care. So these are basically my tips to get out of frustration and disappointment, out of that vibration, because it's not helping to create more of what you want. And in the end, sometimes you just need to let go of your desired outcome in order for things to actually work out. So these are my tips and tricks, guys. Go and do something else. Spend time with yourself. Shift into a energy of gratitude. So focus on the things that you're actually grateful for and um, give your problems over to the universe. And then, you know, a couple of days later, when you feel better, when you feel more sorted and more settled, and when you have been able to deal with the frustration and the disappointment, when you've acknowledged it, when you've digested it, go back to your dreams, your goals, your passion, your purpose in this life, and work on it with the exact, you know, same dedication as you did before. And you will see that things will start working out much easier. It, everything will be much smoother because in the end, we are not here to swim upstream. We are here to experience joy and ease. So when you do feel that you're swimming upstream, it might be time to take a step back. It might be a sign that you need to deal with something, you know? Anyway, that's my advice for you. Remember to sign up for my challenge. I'm going to be live on the 6th of December on my Facebook group. You can sign up on the link in my bio or um, in the description box. And I look so much forward to guiding you on your journey to becoming a successful human being <laughs> and entrepreneur. And I see you soon. Namaste.